Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to create a steampunk Christmas tree from a whole pile of junk and put it on a canvas. Um, my camera accidentally got put onto time lapse, so this is probably going to make your head swim, but I'm uploading it anyways. I hope you enjoy it. If you don't want to watch the time lapse video, just scrub to the end and you can see the finished project. I hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, Sally here. I am going to work on a Christmas project today. Um, I'm kind of in a bah humbug mood about Christmas for various reasons, mostly because <laughs> I'm getting older and I'm tired of turning my house into the Christmas Museum every year, which I have done for ages and ages, and it's like i got to drag the Christmas tree out of the attic and drag down all the decorations and the roping and everything else, and I'm just, I'm kind of not in the mood, so I thought, all right, maybe if I do a Christmas project, it will help get me in the spirit and I will feel more like decorating my house. Because I'll have a new piece of art to hang on the wall or stand on the mantle. So that's what I'm thinking. I have a um, 11 by 14 canvas under all these book pages. Which I guess I better move over. I think my camera's turned around the wrong way. Anyways, that's what's underneath here. And these pages came from an extremely old, yeah, I got to turn my camera on, this is upside down, um, book. I can see it says Christmas 1865 was written right here. Frank something, I can't make that out. But the title page is here and it is Village Norwood or Village Life in New England. Where are we at here? By Henry Ward Beecher. And the copyright date is 1868. So I don't know if this says 1868. That must not say 1865, but it sure looks like it to me. But anyways, the book was falling apart, no cover, and water stained and dirty and toned and perfect. <laughs> for my project. So I'm going to put book pages down here, but first I'm going to turn my camera around the right way. I'll be right back. <laughs> 